What's up, y'all? So, uh, Diera's heartbroken. Um, her granddaddy passed, and this video is about that. I pray I don't cry, which I probably will, but I hold it in, so then the rest will come out later. But anyway, um, we're just going to get into this video. This is serious, so grab your snacks and chew quietly. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, sir, what the goddamn hell yeah leak? So, uh, I already read the title. Let's get it. So, anytime they play music, I feel like it's a copyright and I ain't got time. Yeah, she probably ain't gonna have them talking. She loved that granddaddy of hers, man. He loved her too. Deara Taylor, I like that intro. Still the music for me. All right. She got flued up. Man, I'm first. I'm first. I'm first. I'm first. Lying lip gloss to Granny. So they can be shiny. Hi. Hey. Oh, there she looks grown now. There you go, Granny. We're not grown. All right, you know. guys. It is currently 10:34. It is Friday, September. Not got music the whole time. And I am time. currently documenting the day that we are about to celebrate the life of my granddaddy, the legacy of my granddaddy. So, currently at my grandparents' house, as you can see, my granny is the back. The funeral cars, well, the what you call the procession, the procession. They are outside, and we are getting ready to head to my grandmother's church, which is where the funeral will be held. Oh, my heart is beating so fast. Tell them how long to put on a dress. Oh yes, so this is my outfit. I'm gonna show y'all a little something we got outside, but y'all, we took forever because it's the extra small. She got small. No. Your girl is really sticking in the mood, but it really is <laughs> super tight. We about to get ready to go. I just wanted to start it off. So yeah, all right, let's go. Not about to have me in here crying. Stepping bracelets from granddaddy. That's dope. He went out there and held her down no matter what the fuck went on. He held her down on that one. Well, y'all, if I was her, I would have recorded this. Now, did she record when he died? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God, my granddaddy passed and then started recording herself. No. That's the difference between her and other YouTubers. But at the end of the day, this is our job. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, uh, that's what we've come to. Yes, church. Nice looking church. And see, I, I doubt I would have been able to see me recording and all that. I wouldn't. But, I mean, Diara's a, a multi-millionaire off of youtube you know what i'm saying so her life just hit kind of different you know so they know that she got a record and stuff maybe she wanted to document um for her fans because i mean you know we seen granddaddy too so i think that's probably where she was coming from as well you know so we are currently back at my grandparents' house now, looking at pictures. And I was walking down the hallway and I came through this one. This is actually their contact, the house phone photo. I mean, house phone contact photo. Oh, my grandparents, I love you. We're currently looking for photos, like I was saying. And I actually missed this one because I was po well trying to look through to see what I was posting on my page. But I missed this picture. It's me, it's my brother, and it's my When I die, I throw a party, period. Fact. Oh. MG. This is the yellow cabinet so bad. Look at the kitchen. The kitchen ain't even that color no more. <laughs> and then, oh, I her. it ain't nothing it in the middle right there. Alley. No, it didn't have an alley. It does. Oh, oh, my brother. So bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're currently outside sitting, playing, making six times, all that good stuff. But I wanted to show y'all like a before and after. We put like a picture on the screen, but I'm having Ada to put a picture on the screen. So y'all can see how time changes. So this is me now, and then you see the picture on the side, and I'm on the stage. Stream 85 plus live channels. 
found the fall looks you've been waiting for. Okay. Hmm. Hurry up. You know, Martinique did give me her info for no commercials. I'm gonna have to use it. Here, Leah, get the camera. It's too big, so you can see. Are you editing your videos on there? And then add pictures on the screen. Her! <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, cause again, this hey is there. probably my second video, I don't know, this isn't like a, a video where I'm myself really, and this is probably my first time ever really getting on camera and being vulnerable. I'm in my new place, it sound empty because literally, I literally just moved and boxes is everywhere, so that's probably why it's an echo and I don't have no furniture because with COVID and everything, furniture and everything, everything I order, all my furniture won't be delivered till probably about November, December. Ooh, this child. video is pretty much- They they tried that shit. I went to the outlet. <laughs> just, I don't know, just a video, just opening up and just sitting down and being, I guess, vulnerable with you guys because I've never really done that because it's not like the type of person I am. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to start being the type of person you are, okay? I love how Deara, she don't bring everything to the internet, you know what I'm saying? She kind of just- deal with her stuff off camera, you know? And I just like the way her lifestyle set up. And I'ma start doing that. Mm -hmm. I really get on camera and I don't really cry yep. <laughs> on camera and none of that. But as all of you know, if you follow me on Instagram or follow Ken on Instagram or follow anybody that's close to me or my family members on Instagram, then you will know that my grandfather, I wouldn't say recently because it's been of weeks now that my grandfather passed and if you watched me and Ken then you will know that my grand my granddad was a big huge part of my life so when it happened it was just I don't know it was it wasn't real and even after the funeral because this is probably a few days after the funeral it still doesn't feel real I've kind of been numb for the past couple of weeks since it happened I've just been numb I just sometimes I would zone out and don't really think about or I'm not really there i kind of just zone out but yeah so today is actually september 9th and my granddad passed away august 21st and if you follow me on instagram again then you will know that august 20th is when i actually announced that i was starting my own channel and me and king actually released our video that we want gonna be you know so the day after was actually the day that my granddad passed and i got the news this video is pretty much going to be dedicated to my granddad. I'm going to insert clips from when I was back at home on the day of his funeral with my family and everything. And clips, old clips from when he was in videos with me and Ken and just a slideshow of pictures and stuff that my cousin actually made for him that we played at his funeral. Life really has a way of just being one thing and then the next is just completely different. Child, let, give me a second. granddad's passing I really realized a lot and I really thought about a lot so here is a photo well this is a picture of my granddad's obituary so you probably see that's a nice looking obituary art on my Instagram but that's the picture of it and my granddaddy was born June 12th 1936 so dang my granddaddy was born a long time ago and if you also follow me on Instagram then you will know we recently was just down in Memphis because we celebrated my granddad's 85th birthday on June 12th, 2021, which is this year. And here he lived a long, full life too. He says our hero forever because that's what he was. Everybody hero. In here, all the grandkids and stuff wrote little notes to him. And I wanted to pin a note to him, which I wrote on Instagram. I also wrote inside his obituary and it was just pretty much the end. So I'm gonna go pretty much the, since the day that I took my first breath. Uh-oh. It just don't feel real because I'm 25 now. So my granddaddy has literally been in my life since 
I took my first breath since the day I was born. And when you think about it, 25 years is a long time to have somebody in your life and then for them to just be gone, just like that. Like my granddaddy was literally like my dad. Like I would call my granddaddy, granddaddy or granny daddy, or I would call him daddy. And I think the hard part about it all is like my family haven't really dealt with a death or a major death in our family besides my uncle who passed away a couple of years ago. Mind you. And also, if you don't know, yes, my granddad is my mom's dad. So my mom lost her dad as well. It was just hard. And my granddad will always call me every day. We will always talk. And when I visit, I will always go over there first thing, go over to my grandparents' house and visit my grandparents. And if you've seen my granddaddy videos, my granddaddy was just the light. Like, when you be around him, he's just a joke. He will always make jokes. My granddaddy seemed like he was cool as hell. No cap. So he will always be smiling and always laughing. I don't think I've ever, ever seen my granddaddy down. Ever. This whole loss is just, it's just big. It's, it's a huge loss and it really hurts. Like, I made a tweet on Twitter. I said, a grandparent's love, a grandfather's love is like no other. And no one's love on this earth could ever compare. And I mean that. Like, nobody's love on this earth could ever compare to my grandparents. And my I agree with the grandparents' love. Well, I had grandmothers have. I still have two grandmothers alive. Um, but, yeah, I didn't really get the experience of grandfather. Grandfather's love. And it's crazy because a couple of years ago, I don't even know when, but I tweeted, like, if I ever lost my grandparents, I would go off the deep end. And you really don't know what you would do when a situation like that happens. So right. since then, I've just been numb. Like, I just, it, I just, even though we already buried my granddad and everything, it does not seem real. Like, it don't feel real, and I cannot wrap my head around it. I would never hear his voice again, or I would never hug him again, or during holidays, he would never show up in his meat coats. It's just a numb, I don't feel it. So sometimes I have my moments where I sit and I think, and it pops in my head and then I cry. I have my granddaddy's jury box. They say J. Tay, James Taylor. So this is his jury box with his watch and his necklaces in. So it's literally his cross necklaces. This is his pocket watch. I have that, I have his watches he always wore. And I'm keeping it safe in my closet so that we will always have it. This is one of the necklaces that he always wore. Like he literally always wore this necklace and this necklace. Actually, he had this on actually in a picture that I posted on my Instagram when I had on the green skirt. So I'm gonna insert all these pictures and do all that. But yeah, this is the necklace he always wore. This video is just pretty much to show you guys how loving and how my granddaddy was literally the best granddaddy anybody could ever ask for. And you guys see clips, you guys see pictures, and just from what I'm telling you guys and what I'm saying and how highly I speak of my granddad, like he literally was the best granddad anybody could ever ask for. He even taught me how to drive. And I'm gonna tell y'all this funny story. When I was in Memphis one time, and my granddaddy was teaching me how to drive, because y'all know I literally was like so afraid to drive, but my granddaddy was teaching me how to drive one time when I was back at home one time, and I pulled up and drove when we went to go get food from Jack Purtles. So if you're from Memphis, then you know what Jack Purtles is. So we were- I don't know what that is, but I gotta try it. In the parking lot, and my granddaddy was like, okay, reverse, whatever. Well, he was telling, trying to tell me to reverse because we were backing up and we was leaving. But my foot was on the gas as I was trying to reverse. So I wasn't like reversing slow, I was reversing fast. I mean, my foot was like on the pedal, like the gas pedal. And he was like, break, break, did he break? And I'm like, granddaddy, I ain't breaking. And as I'm breaking, I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> As I'm breaking, saying I'm breaking, I'm actually punching the gas. So I'm literally gassing, all gas, and we literally ram it into this truck in the back. And it was Damn. like, of course, my granddaddy, he does taxes. Like, we had his tax business. So he does people's taxes in Memphis. So pretty much everybody knows my granddad. So the guy in the truck, who car it was, who truck it was, that I was ramming into, he knew my granddaddy. He was like, oh, my car is fine, but it's your car that got a dip. So the guy's car was completely fine. The truck was fine. It had no dip. So my granddaddy, the back of the car, like the bumper or whatever, had a dip. My granddaddy's like, oh, it's fine. We just pop it out. I just pop it out. So I always remember that. But this video will be 10 hours if I go down all the memories that I That's dope, though. Like you hold weight in your city, nigga. Like, bro, I ain't even tripping. And my car ain't even hurt. Yours is though. I pop it out. That's that's dope. <laughs> I have my granddaddy, but I want to end it by saying 
I now know that I have an angel. I've gained an angel and I know everywhere I go or even when I sleep or even when I feel down or even when I think about like life and just thinking like how hard not wanting to continue. I know it's not what my granddaddy will want. And I know he will always want me to keep on pressing, pressing on because of the song that he will always play when he will take me and my cousins on road trips, like keep on pressing on. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I know that my granny love money. <laughs> I gotta open it. You gotta open it. You gotta open it. <laughs> I remember this video. Money. He was happy about that money. He was done with the car. Take the damn car. I want this car. Give me the cash. <laughs> so I'm gonna make even bigger bags for my granny because he was all about his money and he always loved money. So I'm gonna do that. And I want to say like my granddaddy, granddaddy, you're the best granddaddy in the world and you still are in your favorite baby. Y'all, can y'all get that up out of here? What are we waiting on here? A11, what are we, yeah, what are we doing? Forever be in my heart, and you will live on through us. Okay, neither that was our granddaddy, too, and that's on period. All the memories we always keep them alive. Just keep your memory alive. Yeah, so I love you, granddaddy, from your baby. It's so funny because my granny did ask, she said, Are you gonna make a video for your granddaddy? And I was like, Yeah, granny, I am. So, granny, if you're watching this, hey, granny, I love you. You probably had somebody pull it up for you because you always ask somebody to pull up the videos. I love you, Granny, and I love you, Granny, forever and always. We will insert the clips. Ah. Ooh, I don't know if I can watch this part. I'm gonna mute the sound. The sound is what had me crying, child. Just crying. But, uh... <laughs> Hold on, what? Negro speaks up in court for accused white man. Wow. That's the Negro for me, but okay. He was a fly man, y'all. Him and his toothies. His gold toothies. He looked like he was really happy. There's something at the end I need to hear. What part is it? The music gonna have me crying. I can't do it. I'm gonna tell you right now. I can't do the music. It, it, that be that that be what had me all in tears. So I need to know when they're gonna be talking. Oh, I would have pinched his cheeks every time I seen him. He looked like he did so much. Like he just lived a a, a full life of doing a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, he looked like he just lived his life. Everybody loved him. Come on, suit. Granddaddy suit. Oh, he was... Oh, okay, that's still an older picture, too. It be them older pictures for me. I'm about to say, are them singers or am I tripping? <laughs> no, them not singers. I don't know who that was. Oh, when the screen go black? Okay. Granny looked like she held him down. <laughs> I just love how he used to dress. That's what Deara get it from.
Yeah, he uh, loved his family. Yeah, y'all, I can't do that music, child. I'll be in here crying. <clears throat> I was wondering when the era picture was going to show up. Oh, the babies. Yes, come on, uh, fur. <laughs> Wasn't he sharp, though? That's what you call it, sharp. Boy, you sharp, ain't you? They probably used to say that all the time. You sharp, ain't you? Oh, look at this. He just look like a cool-ass man. <laughs> oh, there go Ken. Come on, red hat with the suit. <laughs> oh, that little baby cute. Okay, the screen no but. Screen never. Oh, I mean, it went black for a second. It ain't nothing ever. Introducing 48 That was cute. She used to play that all the time. See? I ain't wanna hear nothing. Now nah, now nah, I'm getting emotional. But um Ooh, child. You know, I when deaf I'm real funny with deaf. I don't be knowing what to say. You know what I'm saying? Um I just pray that she finds peace in it. And, uh, you know, we all going to have our time one day. You know, I'm going to have my time when my grandma passed, you know. And um, I'm, I probably won't be recording anything, y'all, as far as funeral stuff go. But you never know. You never know till it happened anyway. But, um, yeah, it's just unfortunate. But it's literally something we all going to have to deal with, man. So I'm just glad she's able to continue to coexist. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I pray that she is okay. All right. I'm done with this video. I love y'all. appreciate y'all. We're on to the next video. Peace. Yeah, my outro is not playing. I got to fix my outro yet. Bye-bye, y'all.